In this project, we are actually looking for the ideal voice for customer service. And to that end, we engage linguistics experts to go out and help us source this voice to create a synthetic version of that that we can use inside our contact center. Now, the more lifelike that it can sound, uh, at least in our experience, the better the reception of the, the customers that are going to be talking to it. Categorizing voice is something that we can look at in a measurable way. Are there enough pauses to allow the listener to, to you know, really embed what's just been said to them? Um, intonation, rhythm, factors like that will all aim towards what we would like to think is the ideal voice. Start with the selection. The ability to communicate yourself clearly is one of the most valuable skills you can have. It sounded like the kind of voice I would hear in like a public service message. Very serious. The voice we are looking for will be trained by an AI to be an intelligent virtual agent or IVA as they're called. Imagine Siri or Alexa helping you out when you call your bank or online clothing store with an issue. Having a clear, calm and trustworthy voice at the other end is key. Sometimes it's how you say something as much as what you're saying. Wow. <laughs> we don't think language, we feel it, we sense yeah, it. I think that was it for me. Yeah. We've chosen Juan because we feel his voice captures all the qualities that you want. It's easy to listen to, it is soothing, it is gentle, and it, and it comes across as very natural. Pleasure to introduce you. I believe your voice is partly in your genes, but the majority of it is your upbringing because you know you're a product of your environment. If you think about uh, you know smart speaker technology, whether it be you know Google Home Hub or Amazon Alexa or something like that, uh, we are using the same type of technology uh, in the cloud. What we're starting to see is a lot of automation of conversations that would typically or usually be handled by human agents now being handled purely uh, by software. Okay. For the AI to learn with absolute maximum accuracy, Vaughan has to read about two hours of script. I've got a lot of skills. I can understand and respond using lifelike text-to-speech in hundreds of languages. Just stop there for a moment. Do you think we have a little bit more sparkle in that? You know, you're actually getting to talk about yourself here. So I wake up every day at eight o'clock. First, I make coffee right away. There was no way to squelch the intrepidly truthful right brain. The whole earth became hotter and hotter each summer. I can help you extend your service hours because I work 24 seven and never take a break. I'm happy. I'm sure we're gonna get something pretty wonderful out of this. We're doing something really, really exactly. cool. Being stuck on hold is sort of like the bane of the contact center, right? So the ultimate aim with an IVA is there should never be being placed on hold. You should have an automation alternative at all times. So once we've captured genuine and authentic data, uh, the next step is training. Um, so we have a deep learning model, um, which we're feeding this data into the model, and then the model is progressively learning. What's a task? Tasks are things that IVAs like me can do. The process of synthesizing a voice is really synthesizing the sounds. We are capturing all of the combination of frequencies and vibrations that are are inherent to a voice that as a human we would recognize is a voice, but the machine just is guessing sounds. I'm getting the actor's breaths, I'm getting the actor's pausing, I'm understanding how frequently those things are occurring. My voice is transforming from spectrogram predictions into signal predictions. But as the training progresses, the predictions more closely align with ground truth until finally I'm now ready for my first customer experience. If we were to look at the number of contact centers out there and think about how many of them are using IVA today, day to day, it's probably still in the single digits as a percentage. However, the rate at which this technology is being incorporated into contact centers is exploding. I'm a 5'9 virtual agent. In a few words, tell me how I can help you today. Can you tell if I'm happy or angry today? I can detect joy, fear, sadness, anger, analytical, confidence, and tentative tones. For example, I can tell you are feeling happy today. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You've been very helpful. It was great talking to myself. <laughs> I didn't think anything sounded different. <laughs> it sounded just like me. It was really cool. Um, I think it sounds very naturalistic. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this technology goes because I've, that was far greater than I was expecting it to be, that's for sure. And to hear my own voice, that was, that was really cool.